Today, we are kicking off a new segment, I Care Why. In it, Julie will put news and trends in context and tell us, well, why we should care. Biogen reported earnings this morning and said its new Alzheimer's treatment probably won't add to its profit for a couple of years. So, Julie, I should care about this drug, but why? Well, there are two ways to care about it, right? Eventually, it is going to likely add to Biogen's bottom line, but also it's going to potentially mean a big uh, push forward for Alzheimer's disease treatment. So let's talk about the drug, first of all, what we're talking about here. It's called Lakembi. That is the brand name of this drug in the long line of drugs from drug makers that don't necessarily mean make a lot of sense. It's manufactured by Biogen and its partner, Esai. It's going to cost $26,500 per year. That is the list price. Now, this is in contrast to Adohelm, if you recall that drug, that was an earlier Alzheimer's drug that was shown to have a number of different issues and was also originally priced at about twice of this cost. This is a drug that patients will get once every two weeks, and it is an intravenous uh, drip. That's how they receive it. There are also some things that you need to do before you can even qualify for this drug. First of all, because of the phase of approval right now, you have to pay for it out of pocket. Eventually, they're hoping for full approval, and then it would be something that Medicare, insurers, et cetera, would pay for. But when Alzheimer's was first even discovered at the turn of the last century, um, something called amyloid or plaques in the brain was blamed on causing it. And that's long thought to be what you target to get rid or at least to treat Alzheimer's. This is one of the first drugs that really more successfully tries to do that. As the new CEO, Chris Wiebacher of Biogen talked about in the call, it has 30 sets, shows 37% improvement versus placebo, but you need to get it early. You need to get early diagnosis and you also need to do testing in advance to show evidence of those plaques I was talking about. So there are some hurdles here to go through, but it's the first probably promising sign in a little while here, because Aduhelm was an absolute bust really for the company, that things are moving forward. It's critical that they, they get the prices of this drug down, I imagine. This is, here's something helpful, but how do you get into the masses if it's almost $27,000? Well, you get it covered by insurance as part of the issue there. I think that's part of the quest that they're that they're talking about. That is the annual cost, by the way, that we're talking about. Mm. I mean, and if you think about uh, the toll of Alzheimer's, you know, the, and what people will be willing to pay and whether it's worth it, we're showing some of the numbers there that uh, according to the Alzheimer's Association, six and a half million is estimated uh, of, a, of Americans age 65 and older suffer from Alzheimer's. The numbers are only expected to grow as we see the aging of the U.S. So this is something that becomes more and more important. It also becomes more and more important to Biogen itself. The company is sort of sunsetting or seeing more competition for a number of its older drugs. This is a story that we see with many drug makers. And so it's relying on new drugs. Of course, Lakembi is not the only new drug that it is relying on. And again, it's not going to really make money for it for several years out. But it has to focus on these newer classes of drugs. At the same time, the company's talking about selling off its biosimilars business and um, trying to really push into new drugs here. You see the shares are trading down by about 2% here. Uh, the company's midpoint of its full year forecast is a little bit below what analysts were looking for. But, you know, again, there's sort of the company story and there's sort of the humanity story and what this is going to mean going forward potentially for Alzheimer's treatment. Well, top analysis here, Julie Hyman. I am excited for your new segment. I can't wait to yeah. continue to tune in every day.